everyone. It is time for our weekly Touch Base Thursday for December 19th. I'm excited to be going live with all of you. One last time before Christmas. I'm not even sure how that is even possible that we're going to be celebrating Christmas in a week. Um, I feel like it has just gone so fast. I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes here for some of you to find me live here on my page. And then we're going to go ahead and get started. Hi, Sonia. Um, so if any of you are out there, please comment. Let me know that you're there. And again, we're just going to get started here in just um, a minute. Um, I'm hoping that all of you are getting all of your last minute preparations done for Christmas. I feel that this year Christmas has just crept up on us with Thanksgiving being so late and um, I'm just feeling a little bit dah to get everything done. But anyway, um, it'll happen, right? And if it doesn't, there's always next year. So anyway, this is my last um, Facebook Live with all of you until after the, new, the after the, um, Christmas. I will be going live with you the, thir the Thursday in between the holidays. So um, no fear there. I'm tentatively planning to go live with you guys that night. Well, fairly certain I'll be back from my mom's in time. And if not, I'll let you guys know. But I, I'm very I'm sure I'll be live with you guys next week. And um, so just so you guys know, I will be out of town. Um, heading to my mom's for a few days next week, but if you do need anything um, You can always uh, message me or contact me through Facebook or anything like that uh, And happy to try to help you guys with any questions you might have so first of all I wanted to give you guys a few announcements um, uh, just some family updates, so um, We're finishing up school this week for my girls. Yay. Can't wait to have I'm actually looking very forward to having a, a week of no running I feel like this fall has been crazy running with the girls to all their events and tomorrow's the last day of that for a while so I'm really looking forward forward to that um, and then I'm just kind of curious I'd love to hear some of your guys's Christmas traditions that you do so I'll tell you what we'll be doing this coming Saturday I'm gonna be making my am I always make Chex Mix and um, making some Chex Mix and some caramel corn and we might um, be doing some baking of cookies is what our intentions are right now wrapping presents so that's gonna be our Saturday we have nowhere to go for once and I'm just so looking forward to having a day of, of doing just that fun stuff with my girls um, and then I know I mentioned to you guys that Claire was playing a solo um, uh, a silent night solo for our church and she played it beautifully and I tried to upload it to our to this page for you guys to listen to it and it is too long for some reason it's not letting me upload it so I have to condense it and cut it and I'm gonna try to still get it posted for you guys to hear it's kind of noisy because she was playing before the actual children's program started and so um, it's kind of noisy in the background but she still did a beautiful job and I know you guys would love to hear it so I'm gonna try really hard to get that um, up there for you guys so hi to Kathy and Beth and Nancy and Penny um, Philomena welcome ladies so excited to have you guys here so um, as you guys know, if you share my video, you get into my drawing. Um, and so I have a couple of winners from last week. So the winner of the rhinestones is Beth Merkel. So congratulations, Beth. And Beth was a winner just a few um, weeks ago. I just never know how that little winning spiel, um, spinny thing works to be able to be a winner. But congratulations again, Beth. Um, I will try to get those in the mail to you this week. If not, it'll be next week. Um, but I will get those out to you. And then the winner of the Seaside Spray Ribbon, ribbon is Karen Munson. So congratulations to Karen and Beth. I have both of your addresses, so I will get those out to you guys soon. And then up for grabs this week, I'm doing some Christmas stuff because I got lots of Christmas stuff left. So these are things you can always keep for next year if you already um, have all of your cards done, which I hope you do because they should be in the mail, which my personal ones are not in the mail yet. Um, that's my job after my Facebook Live is to write out my Christmas cards. They're made and they're all the addresses and stuff are on the, the envelopes are ready. It's just writing on the inside our names and putting pictures in the family ones and all that good stuff. But anyway, um, up for grabs this week is the Toil Tidings Glitter Enamel Dots or Enamel, um, yeah, they're called Dots. And these are really great. They're in the Christmas tradition green and um, red colors. And then the other item is the Brightly Gleaming Foil Element Stars. And these are great as well. These work really well. Both of them would work really well for either card making or scrapbooking. So they will appease to both of you. So just simply share this video with, um, with, uh, on your page or on your um, on your 
what am I saying, on your profile, and um, you will be able to get into that drawing. So anyway, um, and then I have just a few announcements. So those of you that are local to, um, to Mount Pleasant, you know that I'm doing an event on December 30th. I always do a day event from nine to five here in my basement um, between the holidays where you guys are able to um, come and um, have fun and bring your projects to work on. It's kind of like a sneak peek of um, new how new product coming out in the um, new um, sale or the new mini catalog, which this is the mini catalog. And I'm sure most of you have probably already received this if you're a long distance customer of mine. If you have not received your catalog and you're a customer of mine, please let me know and I'll get these sent out to you. But I really like the orientation this year and I'm not supposed to be showing you guys pages of the inside until the catalog goes live, but I am gonna at least kind of show you a little sneak peek that it actually opens landscaped instead of it being the traditional open of this way. So um, I kind of like that, something different. And then I also sent out to all of you the celebration brochure as well. Now I'm not sure why Stampin' Up! doesn't send these out together, but they they come in different mailings. Uh, I heard from a couple of my customers who told me that the book, the catalog, the mini catalog came first, and then a couple days later came the little celebration um, flyer. And I'm gonna be actually showcasing tonight some products from that you can get earned for free during celebration in my project that I'm gonna be sharing with all of you guys, okay? Um, and then um, I want to make sure that those of you that are also um, customers of mine, you would have gotten in the mail a, um, a, a card with a coupon. Now, I know some of you did not get the coupon, but um, know that you guys are all able to get 20% um, off an order during the month of December. It's a little Christmas promotion that I offer to all of you. So if that is something that you guys are wanting to do, you have only until the month of December. Um, December in which to do that so make sure that you um, do that before it's too late and congrats to those of you that took advantage of that on the free shipping day because that was the amazing day to do that I was a crazy busy lady but I loved it I'm all about a deal so on that free shipping day some of you were able to get your 20% off plus free shipping and it was a huge win-win so um, anyway um, let me see what else I have for announcements. Oh, my January class dates um, will, and my um, online classes will be posting soon. I'm hoping to get caught up on that um, this weekend as well. And um, my first class will actually be some Valentine's Day classes. I'm going to do a Valentine's Day type card class using some product that's in our new mini catalog. Of course, it's all done in pinks and reds and whites and I love it. And then, um, let me see, is that everything I have in the way of announcements there? I think so. Um, so with that, like I said, tonight's Facebook Live is not gonna be too, too long. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a project that I actually created for my team to make. I, I always do a, at my um, my Stampin' Up! team, I don't like to call it my, my downline, but my Stampin' Up! team of demonstrators, we get together every year at the holiday time and we I create or come up with some kind of a crafting project for them to do. And it's kind of, we get together, we, we eat, we enjoy each other's company, and then we craft. And I'm gonna be actually sharing with you the project that I created for them to do at my event. Because even though I'm gonna be sharing with you the finished project as a Christmas project, um, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to make it using some of the nude paper coming out during celebration. And so you'll be able to make a spring theme version of the exact same thing. And so that's kind of what I'm gonna share with you guys today and kind of go over some of the product with you. And then starting next week, I will be focusing on new products coming out in that mini catalog that you are able, the mini catalog goes live, I believe it's January 3rd, yes, January 3rd. And so I'll be sharing with you products that you can start to get your hands on January 3rd, and that's when celebration starts as well. So those of you that are thinking, what in the heck is celebration? Um, I know most of you know, but just as a recap, um, for any $50 order that you place from January 3rd through March 31st, and that third out of either the mini catalog or the annual catalog, the great big blue catalog, any $50 order will get you something out of the celebration flyer booklet for free, okay? Now there are a couple items in here and I'm gonna be showcasing one of them, the framelits. There are a few items in here that are, you have to spend $100 to get for free, uh, but it's well worth it. And like I said, what you're gonna be seeing tonight is some coordinating paper, stamp set, and some dies that all go together that you could get during celebration by simply putting in a $150 order during celebration. 
Actually, it'd be a $200 order. Sorry, $200 order. But you could spread it out through the three months of celebration. But you'd be able to get the coordinating stamp set, dies, and paper that I'm going to be sharing with you tonight. So um, with that, I am going to transition my camera down to my, my stamping area. And I'm actually not going to be stamping anything with you guys because my project today is just lots of cutting and I hope you guys love this idea. So um, I'm gonna transition my camera down and I'll be right back with you guys here in just a moment. So what you're gonna be seeing when I transition my camera down is you're gonna be seeing some beautiful designer series paper that you can get during celebration. Now this paper you can get for free with any $50 order. Um, so you're gonna be getting a little sneak peek. Let me bring in my has to be in here a little bit straighter so you'll be able to get your hands on this paper with any $50 order and I love how bright and beautiful this paper is and then what you're also able to see there are some flowers that I've cut out with the dies that you can get with a hundred dollar order so before I share my project with you guys I want to first share um, the product with you guys so um, the first thing I'm going to share is the lovely lily pad stamp set now you can get this stamp set for free during celebration with a 50 dollars order and the awesome thing is that this lovely lily stamp set coordinates with um let me turn my computer around here oh yes karen i'll mention that in just a minute thank you for saying that um karen mentioned a comment about paper pumpkin so i'm going to talk about that here in just a minute um, this stamp set coordinates with these awesome dies, and that is what you're going to be seeing here. So these dies, you can see, um, coordinate with the, the stamped images. Let me show you this awesome thing that Stampin' Up! did. So you could stamp this right here on a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and that could be, let's say, um, purple or, you know, flirty flamingo or, or Heather, Highland Heather Gorgeous Grape. Then you could come in with this outline and stamp on top of it and stamp that in black, and you'd have this beautiful looking flower. Flower. It looks like you actually um, colored it when you didn't. And that's what this is for. I love it. I love the idea of being able to stamp into those things without having to actually color them. And it, it's just gorgeous and beautiful. Love it. Love, love, love it. Um, and then these coordinating dies here, like I said, go with it as well. So you can kind of see the shapes and how they all kind of blend together. So the stamp set Lovely Lily Pad you can get for free with a $50 order. Now these would be needed to be a $100 order to get these for free, okay? And then the Designer Series Paper, which I'm going to push these flowers out of the way for a moment. The Designer Series Paper is absolutely gorgeous and stunning. So you have um, a lot of different colors into this. You have the Gorgeous Grape, you have um, Melon Mambo, um, Bermuda Bay, uh, Mint Macron. There are tons of beautiful colors in this paper and on the other side you have um, uh, some kind of a solid with different variation to it and how pretty would it look to cut out some of these flowers using this paper I think that would be absolutely gorgeous as well so this is one of the patterns and then you have this pretty one right here also another really pretty one with the green on the background. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the variation in that paper. It is just so stunning. This would be a good piece for you to be able to cut out some leaves and things with those dies because it's just, it would give you perfect variation um, that you need for, for doing that. And then you have this one right here. And on the other side is another one of the kind of, um, this would be like your Grapefruit Grove, which I know is in this, in this package or in this um, product color suite as well. And then you have this one right here with some purple. You can make some really pretty purple flowers. Um, now this paper you would get for free with a $50 order as well. So you would get two, um, you get 12 pieces. You get six designs and you get two of each one. So all together to get the products that I'm showcasing, you'd need to put in a $200 order from now through the end of March. So you could easily do a $50 order in January, a $50 order in February, and keep that $100 order for March, or do your $100 order right away in March. But um, you could easily spread this out to get all these products to be able to make what I'm going to be showcasing for you guys tonight. This is the Bermuda Bay. How gorgeous that is. And then finally, you have this beautiful one right here. Look at the back of that one. Isn't that pretty? I love it. 
So I'm going to bring in my finished project and show you guys what I'm going to be sharing with you tonight. Um, I, I debated about sharing this project with you and one of my um, good customers who has been helping me a lot this fall said to me, Kim, you should really need to showcase that project that you did for your team because it's gorgeous and beautiful and I'm sure there are people that would love to know how to make it and do it. Um, and so I did not actually, we're going to actually start the one using this paper, but I'm going to show you first the one that I did for my team. This was their little gift for me and we made it there. So let me bring in the finished project and show you that. And then I'm going to share with you how I did this. Now, um, if my mom is looking, she needs to look away because this is my mother's part of my mother's Christmas present. Although um, it's okay if she's watching. But we are going to, I made her this beautiful wreath. Do you guys see this paper wreath? And it is on a um, styrofoam back. So nothing too fancy. Styrofoam back. And all I did was pin paper onto this styrofoam wreath. And then my mom loves cardinals, so I put a little cardinal in there. And I got those on Amazon. My team also got to put cardinals on theirs. And this is using the, um, the toil paper. Um, now, if any of you are interested in a kit to be able to make this yourself, um, let me know because I would be more than happy. I have people on standby who would be happy to cut your paper. This project, even though it looks complicated, only took about an hour and a half to make, okay? So this is something you could easily whip out yet if you needed a couple of quick Christmas gifts, okay? So what you're going to need, um, thank you, Beth. She loves it. You guys, you guys are making me feel so good. Like I said, I debated about sharing the project because it's not cards and it's not, you know, 3D projects, but... Um, my, my, my good friend Kay is actually the one who told me, you need to showcase that. So what you will need is a styrofoam wreath, okay? So this wreath I got from, um, actually my friend Shireen and Terry got these for me. They found a steal of a deal for the, uh, for these um, at uh, the Dollar Days store here in Mount Pleasant. So if any of you have are local, you can go to Dollar Days, get these foam wreaths. They were like a little like three fifty I think, each. And... Um, Again, my team loved these wreaths, okay? It looks a little intimidating, but it's not. Um, but you could pick up these wreath forms at any of the, um, you know, any of your, you know, Joann's, Michael's, any stores like that would probably sell these wreaths. And then what you're going to need is some straight pins, and Shireen, one of my um, team members and good friends, actually, I bought all my straight pins on Amazon and they came in this great big, well, I can show you, they're right here. They came in this um, little um, plastic container and out of the goodness of her heart, bless her soul, she went out and got these little bags and counted how many pins people would need for their project. And I will show you guys... Um, uh, tell you guys how many you'll need here in just a little bit. But she put these, these are all leftover packages. And so I'm, I pulled one out to actually be able to use for my project tonight to share with you guys how to do this wreath. And um, again, we're going to be using the awesome designer series paper that is in our celebration um, our offering. Now, what you will need to make this wreath is you will need to have six pieces of designer series paper and I chose to use one of each of the patterns that's in there. You need six 12 by 12 pieces of designer series paper, okay? So you can get two wreaths out of one pack of our designer series paper. And so six by six, unfortunately, will not work for this. And then you will need your paper cutter. So when my team made this, they were told to bring their paper cutter and their bone folder and I will show you guys um, what your, why they needed their bone folder here in just a second. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut this paper into half inch strips. That's it, half inch strips, okay? So it's gonna take a little bit of cutting and I'm gonna cut a few of each design with you. I just debated about doing these in advance and then thought, no, I want you guys to see how easy this is from start to finish. So I am just going to cut these into half inch strips. Oh, Susie, if you make one, make sure you post it on our um, team page or on our um, page here for us to all see because I think it's kind of cool that we can all learn from each other and see different variations of this. Um, that one didn't cut. Of this awesome project. There we go. Now oh, it did. Still getting used to my new trimmer, you guys. It's taken me a little bit of time, but um, I'm getting there. So again, literally half inch strips, 
nothing too hard just takes a little bit of time and um that's pretty much you know all there is to it so there is some of that that design so bear with me while i continue doing some more so while i'm cutting more and you guys are patiently waiting for me i want to talk to you about the joining promotion that stampin up is offering during celebration because it is an awesome promotion so during celebration you can it's the normal starter kit you get 125 dollars of product and you pay only $99 plus your tax. Your shipping is free. But this year, in addition um, to that, you also get a mini pack of designer series paper. And I actually have that here. And I know I showcased it last week, so I'm not going to go into detail. But look, you get a little sampling of some of what we're using tonight. But you get a, a little sampling of all of the designer series paper. And then you also get this mini little trimmer. And I got to show you guys the trimmer. I thought I left it out of the box, but I put it back in. You get this mini little trimmer, which is also awesome. And you get a free stamp set of your choice, um, any dollar value. So if you think about it, if you pick one of the more expensive stamp sets, um, you can... Um, you can get a free stamp set of valued up to like $45. So you, the value of that trimmer and that paper is $26.50 because we had to buy that as demonstrators. And um, another stamp set. So basically you could get almost $200 of product for um, $99 plus tax. Okay, and so you're probably thinking, oh, I don't know if I want to do what she does. You don't have to do what I do. You can just be a happy shopper and purchase all of your Stampin' Up! products at a discount and um, be part of our, our amazing team. I do team meetings, Facebook Lives. I do um, card making days just for my team. We're doing one of those on January 4th where they're making 20 cards and um, in one day. Yes, 20 cards in one day using all new product from the catalog. So um, lots of different benefits that I offer my team, and I'd love to have you um, have you there with us. So I'm only going to cut, I may not cut all six of these, but I'm, I'm going to cut, I think, four of them to give you guys, again, I don't want to, um, yes, this would be something very easy to do while watching TV, watching a Hallmark um, uh Watching a Hallmark movie? Yes, perfect. I love that one. Um, very much so. This is a no-brainer, easy, stress-relieving project. It really, truly is. Um, and I will finish this one as well that I'm starting tonight with all of you, but it might not be until after the holidays. But I'll make sure I post a picture as well so you guys can see this done one because I'm going to share with you what I'm thinking I'm going to put on it for decoration. So my Christmas one, you know, I put that bow on there. I put that cardinal on there. This one I'm thinking about putting some of those flowers on that you had seen me um, that you had seen me showcase at the very beginning of my Facebook Live when I transitioned my camera down. So, um, whoops, let me cut just a couple of these. Okay, let me cut two more of these. Well, I am glad that you guys are enjoying this, and I'm glad that my um, that Kay recommended it because I was trying to figure out what I was doing. Um, so I'll tell you a little story about Kay. I helped Kay with the project. Um, that she's doing for Christmas gifts and she's probably out there watching. Yep. She just commented that she's glad I'm doing a Facebook live on this and I had told her I said I gotta design a few projects for my Facebook live but I'm really struggling because I don't want to not do Christmas or I, I don't want to do Christmas because I mean most of us have our Christmas things done and I don't want to do the new catalog yet because none of you guys can get access to that product and she's the one that had seen this wreath and said Kim why don't you show them that wreath and I went you think so? And she said, yes. So here we are doing the wreath. So you can thank Kay for her recommendation of me doing the wreath. Okay, I'm just going to stick out a few of these pins onto my work area here so that you guys, um, they're out of my way and I can easily pick them up. What you're going to need is you're going to need a bone folder. Look at that bone folder. So these were actually a gift that I did for my team and my club members a couple years ago. I got them engraved with our my team or my my group name, the Basement Bunch Stampers. And then last year we did clear blocks, and this year I did um, the paper piercing mats that had all of our, the engraving on it. I love doing little personal gifts like that. And all you're going to do is you're going to hang on to the center of this, and you're just going to curl this a couple of times. So, and then I turned it over and I curled it again. And I'm going to do this with a few of these, okay? And again, nothing to it. If it curls really good on the first try, you don't even have to do it a second time. 
Um, pretty, pretty simple, pretty, pretty easy. Um, but if any of you are thinking, I don't know if I have the patience to cut all of that, um, I do have a few extra of these kits that I'd be willing to sell. Just send me, uh, it would be the Christmas ones though. Um, but just let me know if you're interested and I'd be happy to get those, um, get them sent out to you guys. I will tell you that this paper is curling a lot quicker for me than the Toil Christmas one did because this paper is um, a little bit of a different consistency, I think and it's just curling faster and better for me. So what I did is I just curled a few of these and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna pin these onto your wreath and you're thinking, oh my gosh, it's gonna take forever. It really doesn't. And this is such a quick and simple um, thing that you could do during, um, like you said, watching t watching um, programs. And once in a while, I will tell you, you're gonna get one that's not going to curl the best, just rip it off. Okay. I don't know why, but that happened to me with my toil one too. Sometimes you would just get some paper that didn't want to curl the greatest. And I just then put it to the side and ripped it off and no one's going to know it. The big scheme of this at the end, um, uh, at the end of the day, it's, you know, yeah. So, um, yeah, so Marilyn said that she cut some of this paper, um, four at once or three at once. Absolutely. You could do that. Um, sometimes I struggle keeping them all straight. And so, um, I just did mine individually, but yes, if you're really good at cutting, you absolutely could do, um, a more of this at one time. Um, and it would, you know, again, be really, really, really cool. Okay. So I'm going to stop right there. I do have more that I could cut. Um, so you're wondering how many pins you're going to need. So let's, here's the math. One of you are going to have to do it because I don't know if I can do it in my head. But you have six pieces of paper and you're going to get 24 strips out of each one because the paper is 12 by 12 and you're cutting them into half inch strips. So 24 times six, is it 180 something? That's the amount of pins that you're going to need for this project. And then all you're going to do is take your little curlies that you did and go right in the middle, I'm hoping you guys can see this. Maybe I should turn it so I know you guys can. And you're just gonna stick these onto your wreath. Um, no, no fancy way, just put them on there. And the more you put on here, the, the fuller it gets, and you're gonna be surprised at how fast this fills up. So I'm just gonna put another one in here. Another one here. So, and because of the variation in paper, you're going to get some patterns. You're going to get some that um, is not going to be patterned. You're going to get, I mean, it's going to just look gorgeous. Can you guys kind of see how that would be, you know, taken form? And um, let me put another one here. So what I did first is I actually pinned these on and I kind of made it nice and full all the way around what I thought was full. And then when I realized that I had still quite a few of these left, I kind of started looking for holes. Like I'd be like, okay, here's a hole. I can put another one in there. So I just kind of started looking for holes as to where I could put more of these at. And because these, these pins are so little, they have really little heads on them, you really can't see them at all. Now I will tell you at my team meeting, I think I had, we had, I had 32 people there and only about two or three of them actually finished them that night. And the rest of them, the neat thing was they could take it home and put them together on their own, <coughs> excuse me, at home because they had everything that they needed to do them. They had, they had the, the paper, they had the wreath, they had the pins. So they were very easily able to put these together on their own. Can you guys see how cool that's looking already? And that is just by me putting how many on? Not very many. And I'm only focusing right now on this area because I want you guys to kind of see how it kind of comes to life um, just in one little area. So I am kind of doing it quite heavily in this area just to show you how. Um, and then sometimes you can just move these where you want them so that it kind of fills it up nice and, and even. And then you gotta try really hard to not um, drop any of these pins on the floor. That's the other thing. Um, we did pretty good at my team meeting night. I was pretty impressed. So I'm gonna kind of just stop right there for a minute and let you guys kind of see how that is coming together. Isn't that cool? How simple. Now what I would probably do for this wreath, and I'm gonna actually make a little bit more of it with you guys, but what I did is I cut out some of these flowers in advance. Now these are the dies that coordinate with the, um, 
with that the stamp set and the and the dies that go together so you could easily glue these two right here together so you have this little design um, this little back part you could add some of the liquid glue on there the Tombow glue glue that on and you could actually stick a few of these right onto the wreath every so often if you wanted to to incorporate some flowers so that's what I was thinking I would do with this project I might still add some ribbon um, and I will tell you that one of my team members this was a team effort project because one of my team members created all of these bows um, for everyone because she used to work at a floral shop or two of my team members. So they created these bows for everyone and already gave them to everyone and um, pretty cool. Now the other thing you're going to want to do before you, um, lesson learned on my part, is you're going to want to make sure you put some ribbon on here or some kind of a hanger that you can hang this ribbon up and do that before you decorate your wreath because we're going to have to get creative. Well, my husband's going to have to get creative on how to be able to hang up mine um, because I did not do that. <coughs> I wasn't thinking that far ahead, I guess. I was just worried about how this awesome thing was going to look. So um, that's kind of what I did is I just would 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 uh, curl a few of these, put them in the middle of the wreath project or stick them wherever you wanted to stick them. Um, and I wouldn't worry about do I need to hang on to some of these where they are up or down. You don't need to worry about that because um, they're going to curl any which way and it's going to look beautiful. What size wreath? I believe... Um, I believe my wreath form is um, a, either, a, is it a 12 inch or an eight inch? I'm not sure if it goes from side to side, but um, I think it was, a, I think it's a 12 inch from side to side. So, but any size wreath will really work. Um, but I, I do believe it was, it's a 12 inch wreath that I did. So Philomena, you've made these wreaths before. Aren't they fun? So fun and so simple without really having to do a whole lot of work now again here's one that's not going to be curling the greatest oh yeah it did we're going to leave it but again if they don't curl the greatest you just rip that part off like you guys saw me do earlier okay kathy i love this wreath with this paper as well and that's kind of why I, I chose this paper to showcase for it because um i thought it was gorgeous too and um this paper i'm going to guarantee you i'm going to have an overabundance of because as demonstrators we get a celebration item for every 50 dollars order that we place as well so you know when i'm buying all of my adhesives for my different events that i do while i'm purchasing on all kinds of different things um, I can also get get um, fifty dollar get one free item for every fifty dollar orders as with mine as well, and so that is why I got to dump out more of these pins. So bear with me here, guys. But that is why I thought this paper would be perfect. And so I'm going to actually be showcasing this wreath. I did showcase this wreath right here that I'm making um, with any of my customers or anything like that. Um, during Christmas because I ran out of time to offer any more Christmas classes. So I'm going to definitely be offering this class um, during celebration, probably with this paper because why not, right? It's it's going to be, I can pick it for free and um, hopefully then, you know, everyone will want more of it and um, yeah. Okay, let me pin a couple more on these and I'm just going to, you guys can see here, I've been live with you starting this project. It's been about, oh, I'd say 15 minutes and I already have that much done. So you can see how fast this project is going to go. Very quick and easy and look at the beautiful colors that you have in there. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? So again, if you like the project, you can thank Kay for the recommendation because I would probably would not have thought about doing this as a Facebook Live with all of you um, just because I always think of it, I need to do cards or 3D projects or something like that with you guys instead. And she said, no, Kim, that's a quick, 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 quick and easy Christmas gift that people might like to make um, yet for this year. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, I would, um, I will be finishing this one. I'm not sure if it will be tonight because my Christmas cards have got to go out before Christmas is here. Um, but I'm going to definitely be incorporating a few of these flowers into the wreath as well. Again, I just don't know where yet, um, but I haven't really thought that much of it through. But I love how they layer together. I think the layering together of them is really cool. And you could easily even just hot glue a couple of these in here. You know, kind of stick them out like this a little bit every so often. How pretty would that look to just have those be right into your project? Wouldn't that be pretty? I actually think that would be really pretty. 
So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my Facebook Live with you tonight, and I hope that you guys consider making a couple of these wreaths, <coughs> excuse me, to give to some of your um, friends or family members who you might be struggling with who to give, what to give them as a gift. And again, if you make it, like Susie mentioned, she's going to be making a couple of these. Please post them out here on my on my group page for all of us to see so we can all get insti inspired with everyone and um, from everyone to be able to make awesome projects like this. So a reminder that I, if you're you know a customer with me, you are able to use your 20% off during the month of December. So you can message me that and I'd be happy to get that order submitted for you. And I will not be live with you guys next week as it is um, Christmas. Sorry, I, mean, I am taking, I should have reiterated that. I am taking next week off. I will not be live with you guys next week, but I will be live with you the week after that, okay? So I am taking the week of Christmas off. I don't know what I was thinking when I told you guys I would probably be live next week. I was thinking it was the week after Christmas. So next week, I will not be live with you. I will be live with you, though, the week in between the holidays following um, Christmas and New Year. Well, was it going to be after the New Year? Probably after the New Year. Is it January? It might be January 2nd. So I will be live with you guys then, and I'll be sharing with you some projects out of the new mini catalog because you'll be able to order those products starting the day after that on January 3rd. So thank you guys all so very much. I hope you have a wonderful, very Merry Christmas. And I have some new and exciting things I'll be starting in 2020 with my Stampin' Up! business. And I cannot wait to share them all with all of you guys. So thank you so very much for joining me tonight. Merry Christmas, everyone. And I'll see you all back here shortly after the first of the year. Have a great evening, everyone. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.